Who gets you, Barbara? Shh, it's the best part. You said that like 14 times already. Shut up and watch it. Okay, you know what? Mm -mm. No. Uh, we gotta go. My friend has a party every year around Halloween, and Tony promised we'd go. I'll drive you. Sit. So that's it. You're not even gonna finish the movie. Eli, we've watched this movie a hundred times. Because it's tradition. Well, if it's that big of a deal, then we'll stop by a red box and we'll play it at the party. Red box? Stop. We're not watching a DVD, Sabrina. Then we'll go to Blockbuster. You don't get it. This is the original uncut release from 1989. So? So that means no Blu-ray, no DVD, no Laserdisc. This is the original copy that's out of print. This is why I don't bring people over here. Tony, this is Halloween. Our day to pay tribute to our horror forefathers. That used to mean something to you. I can call a cab. You're not going to spend money on a cab. Ah, Shannon! Shannon, thank God! You gotta help me. You gotta ditch that witch. Eli, just call it a night. This party's a bust. Since when? Since we graduated college. You're never gonna grow up if you keep watching this shit. So what's the alternative? Beer pong and girls in slutty costumes? Uh, it's a start. Fine. Then go. I'm sorry, I can't watch this shit anymore. Fine, we'll switch to, uh, lunch lady. Or do you want to watch Pizza Cutter Killer? None of them. I'm so sick of horror. We've exhausted the genre. I think my heart just stopped. Seriously, Eli. It's time we actually go out and meet women, not fantasize about the ones in these films. When have any of these women disappointed you? I think what he's trying to say is that we celebrate Halloween like Bill Murray celebrates Groundhog's Day. If you want to call this a party, you better do something fucking exhilarating or you're going to lose us. But we have... There's no movie in the world that could revive the dead energy in this room. I got it. Ghost in the Graveyard. No. Why not? We haven't played that game since we were kids. Because we're not kids anymore. It'll be like old times. Watching these movies at your parents is enough of a throwback. Then we'll walk the old nature trail down by the river. Hello, it's there? gone. Um, the abandoned glue factory at Oak Creek? That's private property. There's cops swarming all over the place, especially tonight. <sighs> you guys are killing me. Tony. Come to the party. I can't. Not tonight. Andy? That's that then. You won't be sorry. This party is legendary. What did you say? Nothing. Second thoughts? Legend. Haunchyville! No. Haunchy what? Haunchyville. Tony. Is that supposed to be some sort of dig at me? No, he's just completely lost it. It's settled. We're going to Haunchyville. If we get this show on the road, I'd love to actually make it to this party. Let's just do this for Eli and then we can go. You're not going to find anything. Here it is. Haunchyville, a mythical village of dwarves in Waukesha County, Wisconsin. It is rumored to be located near Mystic Drive in Muskego, Wisconsin. Is this seriously what we're looking for? You know, you guys, this is stupid. You're not going to find anything because it doesn't exist. I second that. Ye a little faith. They're right, that no one has substantial proof. Well, what about that kid in high school that went missing looking for it? He was drunk. He fell in the river. They found his body a year ago. It's because the midgets put him there. I thought it was a dwarf. Same thing. Ugh. Can we please talk about what we're actually looking for here? There is no Haunchyville. It's a local urban legend created by racist townies to scare drunk teenagers. And what is this legend exactly? A congregation of circus dwarves. <clears throat> Little people. 
revolted against their ringleader. They cut off his arms and legs and strung his body in the woods. They created a civilization out there, away from town, where they live in little houses. And this is what we're looking for? Hobbit homes? Scary. The legend also says an albino child found the town years ago and was welcomed into the community because of his size. The older and bigger he got, the more aggressive he was, fighting off stragglers and drunks. With a shotgun. No, he uses a pitchfork. Why would he use a pitchfork? Every story varies. The truth is that no one has any proof it exists. Except this reporter from a local newspaper who investigated the area during the day. What did he find? Nothing. Some old stone huts and a no trespassing sign. The stories change, but the, I'll say the dwarves, little people, whatever, only come out at night. Well, naturally. You guys know way too much about this stuff. Every teenage boy becomes obsessed at some point, but then they grow out of it. Look, we'll follow the reporter's coordinates and see where it takes us. If it's a bus, then I'll go to the party. If not, then... Then we'll put this to bed for good. And I'm waiting in the car, because there's no way I'm tromping through the woods in heels and a skirt. I'm with Haley. So it's just you and me, then. I'm driving. Kill the lights. How the fuck are we gonna see? Wait, damn it, Eli. Just let him go, Tony. I can't leave him out there by himself. He's an adult. He'll be perfectly fine. Yeah, right. You know, I'm really starting to regret this. Don't. I'll be right back. Oh. Besides, you got an Andy boy here to watch over you. Okay, great. <clears throat> Did you hear that? No. What are you doing? I can't see anything. Well, most people keep the lights on. No, outside. Oh. Are you okay? You know, I really hate this shit. Ever since we were kids. Between the haunted houses and the horror films, you'd think I'd be immune to fear. And why do you go along with it? Are you kidding? Eli. What was that? I'm sure it was just nature or something. Oh, Jesus. I warned you, the back seat is the safest place. Uh -huh. <laughs> God! Oh, God. Can you open the door, please? You two can both fuck off. God. Open up! You can go live in Haunchyville for all I care. So they like children. It was a joke. Yeah, ha ha. Let's just go. Wait, I gotta take a piss. You like get in the car. It'll just be just really quick. Stay, stay where we can see you. I swear to God, I'll be quick. Did you guys see that? Enough, Eli. I'm not kidding. We're leaving with or without you. Eli, get in the car. It's them. I'm not kidding.
What is that? Tony! Rocks, just throwing rocks. Woods. Let's get the fuck out of here. Thank you.